Hi, my name is Mike DiPilato, and I'm an airport research specialist leading the FAA's UAS Airport Applications Research Program area. I work for the Airport Technology Research and Development Branch. That's broken down into two sections, the Airport Safety Research and Development section and the Airport Pavement Research and Development section. I work with the safety section, and the mission of our group as a whole is to conduct the behind the scenes type work for the Office of Airports for them to create new guidance material and update existing guidance material based on our research findings. Our testing takes place predominantly here at the Technical Center where we conduct most of our initial research. Also, we have a partnership with the Delaware River Bay Authority and we have an FAA research taxiway located at Cape May County Airport where we conduct most of our research efforts. The UAS Airport Applications research portfolio includes five different areas. Using UAS for dispersing wildlife and for monitoring wildlife. Using UAS for aircraft rescue and firefighting purposes, so more or less putting a UAS up so that an incident commander can use the UAS as an eye on the sky. Using UAS for perimeter security inspections obstruction analysis, so that would be identifying any trees or obstructions that could be penetrating an airport safety surface. And finally is our pavement inspection, so using UAS to identify any distresses and their severities that go along with that. In addition to those five applications that I talked about, we've expanded the research portfolio to include other things like using UAS for detecting foreign object debris, also called FOD, on an airport surface, lighting inspections, monitoring construction activity, and other safety and engineering applications as well. We're safely integrating drones into the airport environment for operational purposes, and we're doing that across our different lines of business to ensure that UAS can be safely integrated with manned aircraft, number one. And number two, we're trying to develop some of those minimum performance specifications and standard and repeatable processes and procedures so that every airport can follow the same guidance to ensure that it's a safe operation. I'd like to say we're modern day aviation pioneers trying to integrate UAS into the airport environment for operational purposes. So we're working across different lines of business within the FAA to do so. In addition, we're working with our aviation stakeholders like airport sponsors to do the same. And it feels fantastic to be one of the leaders within the FAA to integrate UAS into the airport environment. 